Hello, hello. Wow. Welcome <laughs> to 78 Downgate. Step this into this the, small uh, Georgian uh, house and the world of Charles Rene Mackintosh appears. The Scottish architect and designer capturing the very beginnings of Art Deco, 10 years ahead of its time. Created for Northampton model engineer W.J. Bassick Loke, in 1917 it was groundbreaking. Nobody would have a house like this, and I think when you come into the house, particularly in the whole lounge, which is an, in essence a black room with some very nice golden decoration around it, it was meant to impress, and that's what really Bassett Lowe was asking Macintosh to do for him, create a room that nobody else would actually have. And because of its uniqueness, this glass screen is insured for a million pounds. It may be a hundred years old, but upstairs this striking bedroom, almost modern. And it's incredible to think all of this was achieved during the First World War, when there was restrictions on resources and using an elderly workforce who weren't fighting at the front. To celebrate the house's centenary, a new exhibition, looking at how the First World War influenced Mackintosh, his early light and airy Glasgow work giving way to something much darker in London. Mackintosh and his wife had adjoining studios and he was creating some fabulous work at the time. And of course, outside was a completely different scenario. Young men were enlisting for the war, bombs were dropping. Mackintosh forced to live in London because while on holiday on the East Coast, the Glaswegian was suspected of being a German spy and banned from Suffolk, Norfolk and Cambridgeshire. It will give you a new perspective on him. A lot of the work which he did in Glasgow, which he's best known for, we have elements of that, but we have some very surprising things, some of which haven't been seen for over 100 years. The exhibition opens here tomorrow. Louise Hubble, BBC Look East, Northampton.